As the famous Arsene Wenger saying goes, football is a game of passion. Players and coaches feel it, but if anybody feels it the most, it's the fans. Fans are usually loyal and emotionally connected to their clubs. And so when things go really good, they celebrate with all their hearts. When things go bad, all hell can break loose. In this video, we'll be talking about 10 times football fans lost control. We'll start with the earliest and one of the few bearables on this list. Scotland and England have a long history that goes beyond football, but football is an avenue for peaceful competition. Just like with their political rivalry, England has had the upper hand in the meetings between the two nations. However, in 1977, the Scottish National Football team got a historic victory over their arch rivals in a home championship match held at the famous Wembley Stadium. The Scotsman came back from a goal down to win 2-1 and a sea of ecstatic supporters surged onto the field. Some fans even climbed on one of the posts and broke it. Look at this. The ground pulled apart like this. They've even knocked the goals down and broken the crossbar. This is crazy. If winning made them do this, just imagine what surviving relegation made diehard fans of Everton do in the 2021 through 2022 season. They were really struggling to remain in the league that season. And after enduring months of nail-biting anxiety, a match against Crystal Palace was the chance to escape relegation. That match threw Evertonian hopes out of the window early. By halftime, Everton were two goals down. But the Toffees put up a crazy performance in the second half and turned things completely around. Fans first invaded the pitch after Calvert Lewin scored the winner in the 85th minute, but that was only a taste of what was to come at full time. By the final whistle, Goodison Park didn't have a blade of pitch not covered by ecstatic fans. Simply heart-stopping stuff is that Everton are playing Premier League football next season. What a night. That just shows one thing. Fans are very emotionally attached to their clubs and they're also attached to their players. So when Luis Figo infamously transferred from Barcelona to Real Madrid in 2000, the fans felt really hurt and betrayed. The transfer is a story on its own that deserves its own video. But as for the fans, they waited for Figo to return to the Camp Nou to express their feelings. This is how they booed him during the warm-up. But it went too far when Figo went to take a quarter kick and fans threw all sorts of objects at him, including the head of a pig. Camp Nou was on fire that day. The referee had to suspend the game. But while Camp Nou was figuratively on fire in 2002, the Emirates was literally on fire in 2014. In a Europa League match against Galatasaray, look at how the home fans decided to react to the ongoing defeat. It was so bad that the stands literally looked like a boiling pot of fire. Riot police had to be called in and the game was stopped for a while. Crazy. The next one is beautiful though. As far as fans losing control can be seen as beautiful. In what's genuinely one of the most incredible scenes in football, Watford and Leicester were neck and neck in a playoff semi-final second leg when Leicester won a penalty in the dying minutes of the game that preceded the craziest minutes ever. Anthony Knockert won the penalty and took it, but Almunia saved it, then saved the rebound again from Knockert before the ball was cleared upfield. The Watford fans at this stage were already ecstatic. They thought they were dead, but now they were alive again. Just five seconds later, the ball was falling at Captain Troy Deeney's right foot and a sweetly struck volley, and the fans went wild. With the very last kick of this playoff semi-final, Troy Deeney wins it for Watford and sends them to Wembley. Can you blame them? Those last seconds were absolutely nuts. And nuts is what some Greek fans went in 2019. Rivalries are intense. And in a game between Greek league rivals Panathinaikos and Olympiakos, it boiled over. The match was brought to a premature end when a clash broke out between the home fans and the police outside Athens Olympic Stadium. The incident escalated inside the stadium as some masked fans attempted to attack the Olympiacos bench. Damn. 
Bam! This is Warzone. The game was halted by the referee at 70 minutes, and after 30 minutes of waiting and watching in horror, he was forced to call off the match totally. Now we go to France, where embarrassed fans lost their cool. With the joint most League 1 titles won, Saint Etienne is one of French football's biggest clubs. It's sad now that they relegated from the top flight, and while the 2021 through 2022 season was grinding down into ugly scenes, the fans reached their lowest point. In what was a revolt against the manager Claude Boel, Agri Saint Atin did this. The Saint Etienne fans even stormed the pitch, burned the goal nets, and clashed with players who had to run for their safety. It was just really ugly. But the scene in Egypt on the 1st of February 2012 was way uglier. A day that promised footballing joy was turned into a bloody night. During a title decider between Al Ali and El Masri at the Port Said Stadium, a heinous incident occurred wherein a group of thugs attacked the stands. The ominous indications of the impending chaos started at the halftime break when a section of the El Masri supporters hurled objects onto the field, including flares, while a few others charged towards the Al Ahly fans but were restrained by the stadium security personnel. In the second half, Al Ahly's managers requested the referee to stop the game after El Masri fans attacked the Al Ahly bench and threw flammable objects on the pitch. Cameras caught an El Masri fan inciting the crowd. The situation on the pitch deteriorated rapidly at full time when a large group of El Masri three supporters stormed onto the playing area, targeting the al Ahli mans in a violent frenzy. While the security personnel efficiently evacuated the players from the scene, they allowed the unruly fans to access the al Ahli stands, leading to the commencement of the tragic events that followed. Let's now go back to France. Absolute pandemonium occurred when Nice and Marseille met in 2021. In the dying minutes of the game, Marseille midfielder Dimitri Payet was struck by a bottle hurled from the stands while he was a about to take a corner. In response, Payet flung the bottle back towards the stands and everything went to hell from there. The match was paused by the referee, of course, and both teams eventually withdrew to the tunnel. The delay lasted for a whole hour and a half before the referee decided to abandon the game completely. Interestingly, before it was called off, the Nice players had already reassembled on the field a few minutes earlier, but the Moxé players declined to join them. Last on this list is one time fans went crazy and gave us an iconic picture in the process. The Milan Derby is one of the most fiercely contested derbies in Europe, and in a UCL encounter in 2005, the fans got involved too. AC Milan led with three early goals in the first half, but the match was forced to a halt when this happened. Tensions flared when the referee disallowed a goal scored by the Inter defender Esteban Cambiasso, citing a push. Cambiasso was then hooked for a descent, triggering the Inter supporters to vent their frustration by throwing balls bottles, umbrellas, and flares onto the pitch. In reality, it was an ugly scene, but it produced a beautiful picture from Marco Materazzi and Rui Costa looking on at the scene. The fans were angry, but two rival players stood together showing a sense of unity in the middle of the chaos. Do you know more instances when fans lost control? Share with us in the comments. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.